are we ready for the greatest play of our decade? Like break a leg, guys. Right. What is your side of me? I said break a leg, guys. I don't want to break a leg. I'm going to get the part. That's what I'm going to do. And we can arrive the boogie. What I absolutely do not <laughs> want to happen is that Lexi exposes too much. I do not need her exposing like ruse past with drugs, things that just, you know, it's really nobody's business besides Nate. Like Nate's fair game. Nate has laid, made his bed. Now it's time to lie in it. But everyone else like just, you know, be, be easy. I don't think I need to say it, but you guys know that I'm nervous. I'm so scared. What are they about to do to my girl? They're about to take her out. I already know. Everyone, everyone's like, Lexi's boring. Well, here we go. Come on, Maude. It's showtime. Oh, Lexi's like, I'm ready to ruin everyone's life. I think it's so interesting that in a lot of Rue's stories, Cassie and Lexi are always in the background. Like, Cassie and Lexi are just always somewhere in the back. That's how you know, like, they really grew up together. Oh. So are the mom friends, too? Like, I need... I don't need Cal's backstory. Give me Leslie's. Give me Susan. Is that her name? Susan? Cassie's mama name? Give me that. She's okay. I'll just... Is this supposed to be Maddie? Yeah, it's supposed to be Maddie, Cassie, <laughs> and the uh, cat. I like how Rue and Lexi are the only two playing themselves. I'm not saying <laughs> Jules and Rue should have been Lexi and Rue, but like, uh, it, it was, was always there. Into change. Are we going to the play now? We're really just putting everyone's business out there, like everyone's. But like Fez said, some people need to get their feelings hurt. So maybe... I, I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. I don't even know. Hmm. Hmm. I've been waiting for this talk too. I need, I need to see what, what Jules has to say to Rue and what Rue has to say to Jules. Because... But do you know how much it had probably took someone like Lexi to think about putting on this play and then to let alone do it? Like this is Lexi, the most timid, you know, overshadowed person. Not even the jacket color, like specific. Lexi's wild. <laughs> Lexi's wild. I knew Jade had been doing drugs. Not but Jade. It wasn't Get her, Jade. There were five of us. Oh my God, Lexi, ma'am. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but I'm also very much here for seeing all of this from Lexi's perspective. Kind of love that. <laughs> Marta's cute. Like, Maddie's version is cute. Marta's best friend, Luna. Luna's cute. Oh my. They are gagging. <sighs> Baby, I'd hide under my seat. I'd. Uh... Oh, now nah, we gotta go? We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Ooh, Rue looks good. Come on, healthy. Sweetie, hang it up. Poor Lex Lex. Mm -mm. Wait, is this fucking play about us? This is not the move. This is not it. This is not it. But it's everything. Oh uh, my God. Well, that's nice. Not them just having little cute talks on the phone. Well, Baby girl. Be upset by? You're about to rock everyone's world. I mean, Lexi, you could have changed a couple more things in this play. Just a couple more. Depends on the play. Maybe Susan's not oh, care, caring about nobody. 
When her little millionaire show is on, she does not care. <laughs> wow, oh, wow, not wow. even her. <laughs> I love Susan. So Susan, Susan's like, that's me. That's me. That's me. The fact that they all showed up, though, that's kind of, I don't know. Says something. I need you to pull it way back. You're too broad. It's not funny. Girl, this is showbiz. Come on. You want to make it? Well, fame costs. And right here is where you start paying. I love the theater. I'm dead. <laughs> Lexi's, this is her element. Ooh. Not them playing uh, mom and dad. Don't get too comfy, Faye. Wait a minute. Back up. She a little too close to his face. Yo, what's up, mm. man? He's going to get jealous. We going to a party? You're going nowhere. You need to give your jersey back to 2008 and worry, and worry about, about yourself. yourself. <sighs> this is just about to, this is getting way too complicated, a little too messy, a little bit, a little bit. His fingernails. Oh. Like he raked them, raked them in the dirt, just back and forth, just scrubbing in the dirt. No one ever. Oh, baby, this is a production. They got money at Euphoria High. They got money. Yeah. I mean, if you. Oh, that was so cool how it just switched like that from Cassie. Wait, did that really do that or am I tripping? That switched like that, right? Yeah, I did. I wasn't even looking at him, I swear. I don't feel bad for Cassie, but like. It sucks to sit there and see all of this about yourself, I guess. Like, <laughs> Lexi, okay, Sydney, Sydney's bot. I'm, we just had a conversation about this, but I'm sorry. Baby girl is a 10. Like, okay. <laughs> wow. I felt bad for her and then it just went out the window. Never mind. I had the nerve to just walk. Ugh. Of course I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be sitting in the front row, shall you? Mm. Where's where where's Fez? Where is he? He better show up in like three, two, one in that seat. But reality is I think also what I'm trying to say is I don't need Lexi to show things that aren't significant for her life. Like, things that she knows about Rue or Maddie and Cassie. Like, if they don't make any significance for her, like, what's the point of showing it in her play? There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Not her dad just drunk, just getting in the car with him. No, girl, I'll walk. Oh, baby Rue and Lexi. Yes, be friends again. Oh, God, here we go. We're back. Back to the besties. Mama's still drinking it up over there. Oh my god. <laughs> Please tell me this is in the play. I would love this revolving door of just all the different women. Because this dude has no clue. He's literally dressing her like a Barbie. And you see how he just put her hands down, like, let me do it? This is his Barbie doll. He just wants to do what he wants to her. Meant something horrible was about to happen. This is still not there. Why? Why, why, why? Don't like this. This is where the setup starts. Hey. Astra, you better peep. Come on now. Peep and think, think fast. If we got to get rid of him, we got to get rid of him. No, no way around that. White guy with the afro, be painting on TV. Not Bob Ross, and then she went as Bob Ross for Halloween. Ha! <laughs> Got her roses. What do you even say after that? Hey. I'm honestly, I don't even know what to make of Ruin Jewels anymore. And Ju and Rue still doesn't even know that Jules cheated. I cannot imagine what Leslie's going through as a mother. Just like. 
I'm gonna fight to save her. Uh. Okay. I'm waiting for Lexi to slip up and say the wrong name because <laughs> I would. <laughs> Maddie's nervous about what's to come. Marta. I think these are literally replicas of their rooms. Yeah. You can sleep in my bed if you want. Wait a minute. Is this some Brittany and Santana? Yeah. This girl opened up. I mean, technically, it's not Cassie's home. But this girl, you opened up your home to her. You were best friends. And then you sleep with her ex and act like it's no big deal. Open the door and tell me it was worth it. You owe me that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're going back to the night. This is what I wanted to see. What happened when we went up the stairs? Okay, we're going up the stairs. When is it going to end? That's really my biggest thing in all of this is you you've seen what Nate has done to Maddie everything that he's put this girl through and as your as her friend you're just like whatever it's fine I'm gonna date him now like what makes you think he's gonna do you any better than he's done her because you're different like and I know the whole thing is like Cassie wants love because her fa- <sighs> I get that. But when you look at the friendship that Maddie and Cassie had, and Cassie knowing what Nate has done to Maddie, the abuse that he's put this girl through. Oh, it, it's mind boggling. She can't even face Maddie. Can't even face her. See, Cassie couldn't have walked by me in the hallway. I would have snatched her by her hair. Get back. Come here. Come here. Some people gotta get their feelings hurt. What? What the problem is? Did nobody tell you to do all this? See, I was on Cassie's side. Not side, but... Like I said at the beginning, Nate definitely preyed on Cassie. I believe at, in the bottom of my heart that if Nate never walked up to Cassie that night when she was drunk and on the ground at the gas station, after what Cassie had been through with the abortion and McKay, we would never be in this situation. Nate preyed on her. And I say that because literally the first thing out of his mouth to her is... Uh, you're like a... Uh relationship kind of girl right who starts a conversation off like that he went in with one intention and he got it now my whole thing with cassie is after you know the truck scene at any point you could have said no you could have been like this isn't right maddie my best friend y'all are exes you know you guys have a thing you're not over maddie he clearly still loves matt loves maddie his version of love he held a gun to the girl's head <laughs> Nate doesn't know what love is. I've already said this, but at any point, Cassie could have said no, and she didn't. She never stopped it. She's sitting there looking at herself in the mirror. That's not even her. That is not Cassie. That is not Cassie. This is Cassandra. I am only referring to her as such. She is Cassandra. I, this is not Cassie. And she's trying to put on this happy... Oh... We need to get her some help, please. Please, let's get her. Let's get her some help. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. This isn't in the play, is it? Oh my god. Or is Kat just doing this again after Ethan? Are we back? She wants to be loved by a man because she has love and other forms of friends, but. He didn't even get up to go check on Cassie. It's the purple dress. Here we go, referring to Maddie's future self again. This Jules. Oh. Is this in the play? Wait, 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 wait. This is what I've always wondered. 
this is what I've always wondered. But I didn't think that they were going to go there. But I've always had a feeling that Cal, uh, when, uh, when Marsha brought up how at a certain age Nate, Nate changed and, uh, okay, 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 What? You didn't have to. Is it the purple dress? I feel like it's the purple dress. <laughs> Not him having the scar on his face like Nate. Oh my gosh, they're not kidding. Does no one else has no one else figured out that this play is about Nate, Maddie, and Rue, Cassie? <laughs> I'm done, bruh. Where is Fez? Where is Fez? Fez better show up in like two seconds. I think that I look handsome. I do. I'm trying to figure, figure out if Lexi's gonna like him. I feel like Fez's gonna like. I mean, I feel like Fez's gonna like stab him or something. Uh, go ahead and work your magic, Ashtray, and just knock him in the head with a hammer too, please. Woo! All right. Oh wait, is Lexi about to like out Nate? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not doing this. Okay, little Nas X. He doesn't like you. He don't like you, bro. He don't like you. Stop. Ethan better be a star. Ethan's the star of the show. Come on. Not Rue just fully enjoying this. <laughs> Rue's getting her best life during this whole show. Who let them put this show on in the high school? Wow, okay. No way they're doing this in high school. Who? Uh, let me speak to the board of directors. Let me speak to the school board. Hello? Was he looking at Kat? Uh, I'm with Maddie. She's kind of a G. You're laughing. That's so homophobic. Oh, now Nate want to be an LGBTQ advocate. Like, boy. Oh my God. Now Cassie's going to be mad at Lexi. Cass I mean, Lexi kind of just did you a favor right there. You're welcome. You're welcome, Cassie. Girl, back up. It's foggy. You can't even see through it. Not to be continued. I need to know what's going to happen. Uh Gloria has left me in a tizzy. I mean, if she outed him, I'm not here for that. But I don't think she did. I don't think she did. I don't think the way that it was set up, that anyone really knows what's going on besides those people in the audience. And I think that was how they're kind of threading together what um, Fez said with people need to get their feelings hurt. And I think the only way for this group of people to get their feelings hurt is to kind of show them like this is what y'all been doing like this is what's going on i don't know what to feel with, about that play like i said the whole thing with nate and cal if we're alluding to what i think we've kind of been alluding to for a while or what i at least thought might have happened between them um that is something that i think that they need to do i don't know it needs to be addressed if that's the actual issue and the root of the evil that is Nate. Um, because it would make a lot of sense. It really would. Especially with comments where Marsh was talking about how Nate was this such a sweet child. Then all of a sudden something happened and then boom, he was a different person. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Especially with this being the like second to last episode. What happens now? Like, what do we, what do we do? Before we end this video, I have a little beef with some, I have a beef with y'all. You know, according to my stats, about 92% of you guys are not subscribed and I need that to change. You know, if you like my videos, if you like what I'm doing, like my content, I need you to subscribe 
turn on the notification bell so we can keep these videos coming because even though we're coming to an end with euphoria i'm not leaving i'm not going anywhere your girl's here to stay forever why you guys hate me like why do you hate me why so subscribe, please um, like this video, comment down below. Please comment down below because I need to hear everyone's thoughts because there are so many, so, so many with this second to last episode. But yeah, remember to follow me on Twitter. Come talk to me because um, I kind of have a big mouth. I like to talk a lot. Um, and I will be back next time for the finale of Euphoria. And I don't even know... I don't even know what I'm going to do. It's it's too much. I thought about making it a drinking game, but that seems kind of, I don't know, messed up for a show like Euphoria. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I'm still in a tizzy, but I will see you guys later. And we can arrive the book and share that beat of love. I will